called it Lady Pamela, and I'll show you a little bit if you like. It's not that hard, really. Uh, but first, I want to invite you to join me here on Monday nights at 6 p.m. I'm doing a Monday Live. Uh, if you subscribe, I'll send you a, a little reminder of that, or so you'll see when it, when it comes live. And uh, also to invite you to the new Acoustic Sailing, and that's a fun new YouTube channel that we started. I'll put a link to it here. So uh, here's how I do this, uh, Lady Pamela. And you can find uh, more on my True Fire channel, so I'll go in more depth there. But I am tuned in Dadgad tuning, but this instrument is tuned up a whole step. So if you're playing along with me, put a capo on your second fret and tune it to D, A, D, G, A, D. And when you're in that tuning, a lot of things fall right under the fingers. Uh, I'll start off just all on the first string there. Pull-offs and hammer on and pull off again. And then instead of playing this second string open, uh, sometimes I'll play that as a harmonic on the fifth string. And that just rings out a little bit more. It's kind of a fun to, to play it that way. And then after that, it goes to this cross string fingering. And that's all on the fourth fret. Um, three notes uh, are on the fourth fret and open strings. So I'm kind of going back and forth between open strings and notes on the fourth fret. And I'm playing those and holding the notes down as the other notes are ringing. So Chad Atkins does this technique a lot in, in his playing um, that uh, kind of ring out. Uh, melodic banjo players do this a lot too. And then uh, after I play uh, that th third string, then it's, and the second string open, then I pull off with the finger that's already down. So that's, uh, the pull off doesn't happen right after I play it. It's after the open string, then the pull off. And that makes it a little bit more elegant. It takes a little, uh, it's a little counterintuitive at first uh, where that pull off comes. And then just grab my G in the bass. And if you don't have a harp guitar, you can grab your G right here on the fifth fret of the sixth string. So just about everything that I play on harp guitar can be played on a regular guitar as well. You just uh, modify it as needed. And then I um, do a little hammer on second to the fourth fret. And now I'm going to an A here, keeping the second string open. So all of those notes there are on the second or fourth fret. So if you've uh, checked out that video composing in Dadgad, you'll know that um, anything you play on the second or fourth fret sounds good. So it's an easy way to to compose uh, or uh, you know play something with a little Celtic flavor to it. Uh, okay, well that'll get you started. Uh, if you want it a little bit more, then uh, check out my True Fire channel, and I also have just about all of my music. It's transcribed on my website. So you just go to the sheet music page of my website if you want to uh, print out the notes and tab. Okay, I hope to see you again soon.